This is the solution to written homework 85. <coughs> so it says completely factor f. Okay. So we use the rational zeros theorem to get some candidates. <coughs> so the rational zeros theorem says that this should be plus or minus a factor of 36 divided by a factor of 1. So the 36 the numerator comes from the constant coefficient, and the denominator comes from the leading coefficient. Okay, <coughs> so that is plus or minus, well they're all going to be over 1, that's nice. So that'd be plus or minus 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is paired with uh, 9, uh, but we also have 6. So 6 is paired with itself. 4 with 9, 3 with 12, 2 with 18, and 1 with 36. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18 possibilities. Well, that's a lot. Okay, so then we'll start guessing. <laughs> I'll write small because there's so many possibilities. So 1, 6, negative 7, negative 36 and then 36 okay, I'll guess 1 out of hope so then 1 so carry the 1 and then 1 times 1 is so multiply add multiply add multiply add and multiply, <laughs> add, wow. So that's good. It was looking bad that it was a degree four, a quartic. But then whoever wrote the question gave us some relief by making one one of the one of the zeros. So f of x is x minus 1, and then multiplied by x cubed plus 7x squared, and then plus 0x minus 36. So now we'll factor the next part. factor that, and we'll do that with the rational zeros theorem. And again, it's going to be plus or minus, the candidates are plus or minus, a factor of 36 over a factor of 1. And again, The 1 comes from the leading coefficient. And the 36 from the constant coefficient. So plus or minus 1, 2, 3, 4. 6, 9, 9 with 4, 3 with 12, 2 with 18, 1 with 36. Okay. <coughs> so now there's, again, nothing better to do than guess. So let's guess. So 
So one, seven, zero, negative 36. So let's guess one. Okay, so carry that down and then multiply, add, multiply, add, <coughs> multiply, add. Okay, so one is off the list. Seven zero negative thirty six. Okay, how about two? So carry and then multiply, add, <coughs> multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, so that didn't work. Seven zero negative thirty six. How about a three? Feeling lucky with the three. So carry and then multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. Oh, that was way too big. Let's check that. Okay, so then this would be mm, 54. So that didn't work. <coughs> okay. How about four? Seven zero negative thirty six. So carry this down. <laughs> and then multiply, add, multiply, add. And then wow, that's a really big number, so 160, 176. Uh, so adding those together, that'd be 140. So going to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, I'm already at 140. So I'll try moving one more to the right. Uh, and if I get any bigger, that's going to make me think maybe I should try to go the other direction. Okay. <clears throat> Six. One, seven, zero, negative thirty-six. Okay, so carry and then multiply. Add. Sixty, seventy-eight. Oh, wow, starting to get real big numbers. So that would be 78 here, and then 6 times 78 is 468. And then add negative 36 to that. Oops. And then add negative 36. 432. That was that was sad, and now this one is sad, even with a little tear, because we're getting really far away. So let's try going the other direction. How about negative one? Okay, so one, seven, zero. 36, so we're going to carry, and then 
add, then multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, so negative 30. Not zero, but it's closer. Okay, how about negative 2? So carry it down and then multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Okay, so negative 30, negative 16, we're getting closer to zero. We're feeling good about negative 3. One, seven, zero, negative thirty-six. Okay, one, and then uh, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, uh, multiply. Add. Okay, so this one was a no, that one was a no, but this one, we made it. So as a result of that, f of x is x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 3. multiplied by that. <coughs> so that would be x squared plus 4x minus 12. So now we've got it down to a quadratic. And now the question is, is can we factor this one uh, using an easy method, hopefully? Well, yes we can. Because, can I think of two numbers whose product is uh, negative 12 and whose sum is positive 4? Sure. So x minus 1 times x plus 3 times x plus 6 times x minus 2. Times x minus 2. Hmm. That means that 2 should have been a 0. Why was it not a 0 up here? So look, look at how much work I went through. So this is this this is actually a mistake. So that's actually a mistake because it should be two times nine is eighteen. So I saw this mistake, I saw this mistake right here, noticing that 2 is one of the zeros. So that's a mistake, but through enough perseverance, <laughs> through enough perseverance, uh, eventually, we're able to come to the right answer anyway. And so that's the answer. <laughs>